What's up everyone, it's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome to uh, DJX 2023. This is the Boat Flighting USA booth. This is our booth personally. Um, Boat Flight USA, if you guys didn't know, is actually my company. And we're showing a lot of cool stuff today. Yes, guys, in this video, we're gonna be going through DJX 2023. I got a lot of stuff to unpack in this video. I'm gonna be here to basically walk you guys through everything that's happening, but let's go ahead and jump on into it. First day that we were on site where the whole team and us were setting up the complete booth that you just saw. What's up, everyone? We're on the show floor. That back there is our uh, 20 foot booth, working on it. Got my man Spike over here, Carnival DJ, but yeah. Check it out. Got some video walls this year. I have no clue what that sound system is, but everyone's working. You got Danny Mac over there. Pro X beside us. I have no idea who's here, but we're about to occupy it. Marcellus is in the cut. Hannah's working on the truss. I would start a time lapse, but my boy Marcellus already got the time lapse started. Actually, no, I'll do a GoPro time lapse. So quick little setup time lapse and then we showed some basically just random b-roll clips that we put all together there. We actually morphed the setup day into the first day and now we're going to go back a little bit in time to basically me talking about the start of the show, going through the show floor beforehand. But I do want to unpack that this show we were doing for DJX purposely for both Lighting USA. And I'll tell you one thing, being a vendor is completely different than actually attending this show. And I'll unpack that more in the video as we go. But let me just tell you that load in was a pain in the butt. These casino venues that they do these shows at, they require you to either use the union labor, which is incredibly expensive, or you have to like park all the way outside at the curb and roll your stuff all the way into the venue. So just wanna give a shout out to a lot of the guys that helped us roll everything in. Nick, my boy Spike, I can't remember Spike's assistant, um, and uh, David, who's gonna be helping out throughout the whole entire show in this basically vlog style thing. Um, the whole team helped put this together and actually get everything rolled in because we literally had to roll like three football field links to get all the gear in and all the gear out. So anyways, let's go back to me going through the whole entire complete setup for DJX 2023 for Bow Flighting USA. Yo, check out these shirts. All right, I probably inserted in uh, Marcellus's time lapse of the setup, but we're on day two. AKA first day. Marcellus, how you feeling? Feeling good, feeling good. I'm excited. This is dope. Setup is fully complete. They still gotta turn uh, the lights down in here. I believe they're turning them down. But uh, yeah, take you guys through the booth a little bit. We went with a 20 foot span of truss up top. Basically two, three meters together, which is actually more like 19 feet. That is all global truss up there. We basically ran our wiring through there. We have a custom neon sign from my friend over at Solus Neon. Hit up Solus if you want a neon sign. That thing's massive. We put four tubes with some zip ties on angles. Pretty cool. We actually ran permanent power to them as well, which is dope. The moving heads you see up there, I have not made a video on. Those are the new beams. They're like the mini spot beams. They're pretty cool. And then coming down, we literally tried to fill the booth with like every bit of lighting possible. So going right to left, we have the wash movers on top of some Rockville totems. We have the brand new Pix bars, another product I have not got around to filming a video of. These are brand new. They're battery powered. They're sick. I mean, you can see they're pretty bright too. We have the MH150 spots. We have more tubes on the both lighting stands. Same thing over here. Sound wise, we got the LDC systems 40 uh 44 g2s we have the turntable booth as always uh rain 12s s9 run into the speakers no back rack or anything today 
Another new product when you get a video on, this is the low-lying fog machine. It's water-based, no dry ice, no CO2, no nothing. It's literally just water and fog, and it creates a low-lying fog effect. More to come on that as well. We're demoing the pre-programmed sound switch file. So that man right there spent many, many hours to program sound switch for all the fixtures you see up here, and we also provide that. That's something we sell that you guys can pick up if you want to get in the DMX without the need for programming. And then we have some demo cases all throughout. So we got an eight unit case of tubes right here. We have the four unit bag below. We have the cold spark batteries. We have the cold sparks. We got the bag with the stands. We got two random uh, tubes right here, both black and white to show them more closely for people. Spec sheets throughout. We have uh, an S6 model. We have an S4 model, an IR4 model. We got the IR4 case over here, the eight unit case. We have the four unit bag right here. I mean, we just got a lot of stuff to show. And in general, we're just excited to, you know, hang out, talk to people, and uh, promote Boat Lighting USA. So if you guys are interested, check out BoatLightingUSA.com. I believe right now, this is for insiders only watching the video, but if you go to the site before September 1st, you can use code DJX23, DJX23, and get 13% off. That's the biggest deal we've ever done. 13% off of your whole entire order. So DJX23 for the insiders watching it. And if you're watching right now, Hashtag squad in the comments down below. But yeah, we ready to get started. I mean, you guys can see these Pix bars have strobe blinders built into them. These things are sweet. I'm really excited about these. They got wash on the sides. They got strobes on the inside. They got strobes on the outside. You guys might know these from another company, but both lighting is making them now and they're battery powered with wireless DMX. So don't got to run any cables to them. We're going to take a stroll through the sh before the show starts and see what all is around. We got a couch, Mr. A-Rock. Getting some work done. You got a booth over here with crazy stuff. There's food back there. EV booth's pretty sweet. We'll check that out in a sec. Pioneer booth. Got the new uh, Rev 5 over there. Everyone's getting the final touches ready to go. Techniques booth. EV booth is dope. Got Mr. JSG over there on the tunes. That that might be the other company I was mentioning. Was he, are you vlogging me, vlogging you? <laughs> what up, Rachel? <laughs> I haven't really shown you guys. This is the booth right now. It is very epic. Day one concluded, not really, concluded in the booth. We're moving gear now. We're moving gear to the party. We're going to the party. Yo, what's up? We over here at the Land Shark. Out back, beach bar. We got tubes set up all the way around. We got Hannah. We got some movers, bass balls is here, gonna pound it. So if you hear bass, come come here. We're outside the Margaritaville Land Shark. You walk down around here, free to get in, come party, 8 p.m. So crazy day one of the show floor opening. So Monday is all education and that's when we actually set up all of the stuff on the show floor. Tuesday's when the show floor opens, it was madness. And then to top it all off, we actually signed up to provide lighting for a sponsored party out on the beach that night. So you guys saw we had to literally roll a bunch of road cases through the casino out to the beach. Base Boss was there with the speaker system and we basically had a nice little party. There was actually multiple parties going on. Carnival had a party going on where they were doing DJ stuff and then there was the main one for DJX where Scratch Baster was performing and uh, DOS was providing the audio over there. No one was lighting over there. And then at the end of it all, at like one o'clock in the morning, we had to wheel it all the way back through the casino to put it back into the setup and then turn around and we had to start again the next morning with a whole nother day of show floor. What's up? Day two. My man Dave over here brought us a hazer today. Boobs looking way cooler. Got my man Demand behind the decks this morning and the blinders. The new effects blinders look so cool in the haze. That is probably the most dead our booth's been over the last two days. It's been crazy. All right, walking through the casino, heading to the um, Vibo panel. Put it so far away. It's like all the way down at the end for some reason. So I got a chance to actually leave the show floor because I was on one of the panels, doing like Q&A panel for uh, Vibo, which is the planning app you guys know I use and love. If you don't know anything about Vibo, go check out my previous videos I've made. Just search the channel. I do lots of stuff. But I wanted to talk about, at this portion of the video about the difference between being an actual vendor versus being an attendee. I was literally nowhere for any of the education. There was, there's education going on during the show the whole entire time. And uh, normally with that education comes a lot of networking, you run into people and you're mingling. I really got to do none of that this year. Instead, I was pretty much in the booth 24 seven during the day. Honestly, it's a ton more work to be a vendor than it is to be an attendee, of course, because we're talking to people and we're trying to sell lights and doing all that. But literally our days were literally 
start around 9, 10 a.m., get some breakfast in the morning, go over to the show floor about 11 o'clock, get everything set up because the show floor opens at noon, power through the whole entire day on limited food, try to stay hydrated and be screaming to people because the show floor is incredibly loud if you can't tell by the footage. It ends at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock, we got to shut everything down. Then the team, we all went and ate dinner because we were starving. And then after that, there was always a nightlife event going on. So we typically went out to the nightlife event, had a few drinks, had a fun time, and then ended the night probably about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning every single night. And then repeat. It was a lot of work and it was very, I mean, we were just, we were working hard and playing hard very aggressively. But yeah, back to the video. All right, Vibo panel ended. Heading downstairs, back to the show floor because Marcellus keeps texting me that like Jani and Cleveland and all of them come by the booth and they're like, where's Rick, where's Rick? And I'm like, I'm in a panel, why aren't you here supporting me? But anyways, going back downstairs. Yo, what's up, we at the booth, ran to some fan here, we got up, what's up? Oh my God, okay, I'm on the vlog. Hello, DJ Rick Webb's vlog. Everybody like and subscribe right now. <laughs> DJ B Dog, what's up? <laughs> booth doing well, booth doing well. We're just talking, me and everybody came by, we've been chatting it up. <laughs> I love running the fans. It's awesome. Anyways, I'll check back in a minute. It's I spent, oh, there's a drone. This stuff's crazy. I will say though, experiences like that right there. I mean, literally the whole show, I was basically talking to all sorts of DJs. A lot of you guys watching this video that came up talked to me, talked about how awesome the videos are, just got to chat, hang out. That's honestly what I enjoy most about these conferences, getting a chance to meet you guys in person, talk shop, and basically, you know, get to know each other. It's fun to get to be able to interact with you guys outside of talking to a camera and actually talk to you guys in person. And especially the younger ones like B-Dog right there. Shout out to everyone that came through. Also, shout out to everyone that came through and DJed in our booth. We literally put this together like two days before the show. I was on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's right there. But we put out there basically anybody that wants to spin, let us know. And we had all sorts of DJs sign up. Guys that are like really big in the game. We had lower guys. We have all sorts of people just spin in there and everyone was solid. Everyone was amazing. And I like that everyone that was in the booth was actually DJing. A lot of these booths, you know, they'll book these scratch DJs and all they do is just sit there and go back and forth and back and forth. And while that is cool, it gets really boring. And I just wanted to have a cool DJ vibe in the booth. Just people spinning good remixes, edits, and just mixing and having fun. And that's what we got and that's it was, it was awesome. So if any of you guys were at the booth, comment down below. At this point in the video now, we're gonna go through a complete overview of the booth once again and some in-depth footage for you guys for the first time showing off the new effects bars and the low-lying fog machine. More to come on that in the channel in the future, of course. What's up guys, DJX 2023. We're unveiling the brand new effects pixel bars. We're not entirely sure the name, check it out on the website. I believe we're going with Pixbar 1000 though. These things right here are sick. You got a wash around the perimeter that does RGB. You have white strobes and blinders in the middle that are awesome. The biggest thing though with this bar is it's battery powered and it's wireless DMX. The battery life is insane. We literally just got them before we came here. We've been running them for three days straight now at the show floor and we're down to 50% battery. So we've been over 12 hours of battery now and we're only down 50%, which is insane. These are the new FX bars. We have them just O-clamped onto this gravity stand right here. But if Marcellus comes over here, you can see this is the actual bar itself. You got some mounting points here. PowerCon in and out, DMX in and out, but you do have wireless DMX built into them. There's the battery indicator, nice and easy to see. On and off, full screen control. The thing is dope. It's basically a meter long um, and it's fully DMXable. This thing is insane, but yeah. Brand new FX Pix bars. Go to bowflyusa.com. You guys can learn more about the specs, the details on pricing and all that. Check us out. What's up everyone? We're at DJX 2023 unveiling the brand new low-lying cloud effect machine that doesn't take dry ice. This thing is really dope. As you can see, you got two hoses and these end nozzles that you can position however you wish. We're gonna show it here in a second. Basically, this is the full road case that it comes in, all loaded up, ready to go. You do have a remote that's separate. All it takes is fog juice and a little bit of water. We have a particular fog juice that we're using right now. We needed something that was very fast dissipating and we're working with some companies on potentially getting our own proprietary fog juice that we're gonna sell with this to make sure you guys get the best effects. But overall, on the back, it's PowerCon in. It draws about 11 amps. You can DMX it or you can use a wireless remote or you can trigger it manually. So I'm gonna trigger it manually right now and it's gonna come out of both these nozzles. It starts slow for a second as it builds up its power and then it's gonna kick in onto turbo mode 
in about two seconds. That right there is your low-lying dancing on a cloud effect. And like I said, it doesn't use dry ice at all. All you have to do is fill the chamber up with about two gallons of water. There's a valve to empty at the end of the night and it just takes fog juice. So you can literally power this thing and run it all day, all night. It does produce a little bit of water residue around the front of the nozzles. We got it on carpet right now, so it absorbs a lot of that. But if you are using this at an event where you got hard floors, you will need to have a mop on hand to basically get that little bit of water. But the biggest thing again, is the fact that you don't have to have dry ice and the heat up time is less than five minutes. As you can see, it's kicking up a little bit and that is mainly because of all of the high power air conditioning in this convention hall, but more to come on this in the future. And just like that, show floor is over. We're on breakdown mode. My voice is pretty much gone. Thank God I don't have a gig. We're gonna break down. And that right there is a wrap on DJX 2023. Very different being a vendor, way more expenses being a vendor, but it was a great experience. And we got a lot of great feedback, both from other professional vendors on the floor and from all the people like you guys coming Coming up to us and just talk about having both lighting at a DJ convention like this and the presence it sets with the brand and how serious we are around you know providing you guys with affordable lighting with better warranties than is available on the market and just making sure everyone is taken care of from a customer service perspective so with that said if you guys want to check it out both lighting USA dot com of course but yeah thank you guys so much for watching leave a comment down below hit the subscribe button all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one with a gig log keep the record spinning peace